it is time everybody check it out I got a brand new hard rock hat pretty nice I'd flip it around my hair's a mess up but look look at that it's all embroidered hard rock but it pops out it's a pretty nice hat and I am going to wear it tonight to the show to the concert to the Jimmy Buffett Eagles concert and my phones back there are just going nuts which is why I'm starting the video pre-concert inside the RV. I'm getting ready to Uber over to the Citrus Bowl, which is now called Camping World Stadium. Gonna go check out Jimmy Buffett and the Eagles on one stage for one night only. It's supposedly insane. They're closing off all the city streets in Orlando. It's gonna be nuts. But I don't think getting into the football stadium, I'm gonna be able to carry my gimbal with me. So I'm just gonna put my mobile devices in my pockets and uh, do a bunch of handheld footage from the parking lot scene, the parrot heads enjoying the day, drinking margaritas around, and then inside the football arena. Is a football stadium? It's a stadium, not an arena. Basketball's a stadium, football's an arena. Well, whatever. So I'm going to just shoot video with uh, mobile devices and stuff like that, handheld, trying to keep it as steady as possible, and uh, hope you enjoy. I don't know how the day's going to end up. Probably after a few of these and some margaritas, it's probably going to get pretty nuts and I'm going to act pretty stupid. We'll, we'll just have to see. Anyway, it's time to hit the road, order my Uber, put my fins up, and get out of this RV. It's time to leave my humble abode. Abode? Abode? Whatever at this campground and head over to Camping World Stadium. En route though. Oh, okay, L let, the, let the jokes begin. I'm just so happy that Uber is invented. It, it's perfect for situations like this. Oh yeah. You know, I think this is as far as we're gonna get. You're gonna drop me off in the middle of nowhere and I'm gonna be lost. I <laughs> know he's right there. Oh, you're gonna make me walk to the stadium? <laughs> what kind of Uber driver are you? Look at what, well, it looks like there's a party going on over there. There's a boat out of the water with alcohol. Where? Oh, right there. And pizza. Alcohol oh, and pizza. Oh, this oh, wouldn't oh. be a bad place to get dropped off then. Yeah. Well, you want to lock, let me here? No, let, let, me, let me see. Up here at the corner? Let me put in this gas station. Well, it was great meeting you, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. You never know if I'm out here tonight. Get out here about 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'll just be standing right here at this gas station. This is going to be epic. Okay, so I am at what they call Camping World Stadium now. It, it's the Citrus Bowl, but they call it Camping World Stadium nowadays. And there's a thing going on called Fan Fest. So we're gonna go check out the Jimmy Buffett Fan Fest, have a little adult beverages, and uh, I'm just gonna shoot some video and show you guys what it's like four hours before the show starts. Sounds like sound check is going on within the stadium. I could hear Jimmy in there practicing. The tailgating is strong today. I find not carrying my gimbal around to shoot video today is rather difficult. I can see that my hand motion is not steady. And but I think I think maybe after a beer or two my hand could become steadier. It, it's gonna take a while. I think I need to go find me. Oh my god. I, I didn't have to Uber here. Oh never mind. I thought that was a segue. It's not. Very similar though. And I think I'm a little bit underdressed.
we're gonna head over to that tent. Yeah, this is Tinker Field. This is the old baseball field, Tinker Field, that sits outside of the Citrus Bowl, which is now the Camping World Stadium. Here, here, they're in there. I could hear them. I could hear the sound test. Okay, because I'm here so early, I think this is the place where the party begins. Would you look at the size of that Jenga board? Do it. Gentle. I think if you're too short, you're not allowed to play. <laughs> Exactly. You're 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 kicking it off right. Oh. The only thing they're missing is sand and beach chairs. The bad thing about coming to the pre-parties and pre-show stuff like that, the beer, it, it, it's a little bit pricey. It, I mean, if you drive your car and bring your own and you're tailgating, it, it's better than paying $13 for a can of beer. They're just, they're just lucky it's hot outside. They are setting up beach type funness. I mean, look at this hammock. I, I mean, I, I don't think I could lay in it. Definitely would not hold my weight. Buoyancy, right? All right. Here's another one I wrote with my buddy Tom Corcoran. You know what? Before I play this, let me play a song that Tom wrote with that other guy who's opening for the Eagles tonight. It's called Cuban Crown of Fashion. Definitely lots of fun to be had today. It's always nice to show up to shows just a little bit early and walk through the parking lots. But it's a pretty hot day still and I would prefer to get inside and grab my seat. Okay, so my entrance where I need to go is gate C and it puts me kind of backstage a little bit. You guys want to see what the Eagles tour buses look like? They're right there. They're right behind me. That's Joe Walsh's van bus. Yeah, they got parking all the way up by the freeway. Everybody is jam-packed, and there's really not much parking here on this end of the stadium, except for, like, for the musicians and people that set stuff up. But Fan Fest is going on over there, which I just showed you a little bit of. But I'm getting away from the crowd, and I'm going to head on this side of Camping World Stadium. Boy, that, that, that is a hard word to remember. Can we just go back to the Citrus Bowl, please? Would you guys look at this? Look, look. Remnants of the past. Citrus Bowl Center. <sighs> Thank you, Citrus Bowl. I actually think where I'm supposed to be is a lot more active and better than where I just was. But my camera's still jittery. Head over here by the freeway and look at that parrot head right there.
Yeah, it looks like over here by the freeway is the place to be. Okay, I just heard the coolest YouTuber, YouTuber name, Saltwater Hippie. There could be no name better. That's it. That should break the internet. Into the parking lot. My parking lot. I mean, this is where I would have to park if I would have drove. Look at that guy up there dancing. Look at him dance. I never thought you could dance to Kokomo, but this guy proved me wrong. This is a great place. They're giving away free koozies. Look, I got my koozie. Jimmy knows what's going on. What's up, bro? Oh, I said Jimmy knows what's going on. He's right, he's right behind you. He's, he's, he's watching. Yes. My first koozie. Incredible. Incre you go to a football game, you don't you don't get this kind of tailgating. You don't get to see people walking around with coconut things on their nipples. I mean, yeah, I, I don't have that yet neither. But by the time I leave this parking lot, I may be wearing a coconut bra. I'm surprised that that cool wiggling guy up there isn't wearing something like that. I'm not exactly sure what proper tailgate etiquette is, especially as the solo traveler. Look at, I could see that guy. He's like Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. You could see it so far off in the distance. He's gigantic up there just enjoying the day. Those things are mesmerizing. So honestly, you guys know I drive truck. I really don't get to get out and do too much. I do the Disney thing, the universal thing, sometimes some roadside attraction stuff. I do not hit tailgating parties and I don't know what etiquette is so everybody sets all these booze up right and left when they're giving free stuff away like this I'm gonna grab it of course but wh what's the etiquette can you just walk up and grab a hamburger off the grill off somebody's grill can you just grab a margarita can you just grab a shot of rum what, what what's the etiquette I don't know like walking down this this aisle can I just walk up and grab that tequila and rum and blender and do what I want or what I, I do not know tailgate etiquette can I steal a nacho I don't know and you could tell the popular tailgaters like this they all just kind of like all crammed together but then you get the other tailgaters that are just kind of out here or is this a different tailgating crowd I don't know. And there's nobody here to teach me. You know what? I think the proper parking lot etiquette is just be yourself and have fun and talk to people. I mean, you could either be yourself or just be the life of the party, like our little dancing friend right there. She could do that. Can you think what she could do with a... I want a picture of her. Can, can, this is badass. What do your pumpkins look like on Halloween? Yeah. So uh, save a pumpkin, carve a watermelon. See, uh, save a... Uh, perfect. <laughs> is, there, is, there any, is there any... I mean, do you lace it with like vodka or anything? No, I have Taste a pumpkin coming, so it's not like... Oh, wow. Well, it's nice to meet you. I have to go now. I appreciate you. want a picture with it? you got to hold it. It has no vodka in it. It's just not my style. No, but it's cute. Here, look at it. Watch out, the tequila is going to pour out on you, man. <laughs> it's going to come right out and squirt you in the face. You'll have to oh, that would, be, that would be a disaster. <laughs> this person is concert out before the concert even started. Oh, it's like college. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I've been walking around trying to figure out parking lot etiquette. And uh, that's what today's YouTube channel is going to be about. What is the, what's the etiquette at a parking lot? 
It is the forgetting about the real world, and it's about looking to everybody else and saying, hey, I don't care about the differences that we have, and then just being generous to one another, and then just saying, that, hey, if somebody wants a beer, give them a beer. If they don't want a beer, then give them a beer anyhow. So and that's the bottom line. Your whole, you're you, all over their body. Come see you. Yeah. So, so your guys' explanation of a proper parking lot etiquette is much better than that dancing guys up there. Oh, he, I couldn't, I couldn't get an answer. So, no, it's, it's, it's pay it forward, I guess. I, I, it sounds kind of, you know, the stupid movie that they had with the, the guy from Sixth Sense, the kid with Sixth Sense, it's a pay it forward thing. I really look at it. So I go to a lot of Jimmy Buffett shows. I'll go to like Chicago, and I, I can't drive to Chicago, so I'll go up there and you know, I'll bring beer and I'll do all that. But like. I can't bring my grill. I can't do that. So I walk by, but people give me stuff. They, they don't care about trying to get money in return. It's just about having a good time. And that's what I think we forget about society. Exactly. And this, acting, dressing like an idiot and looking amazing and forgetting about the Monday and Friday uh, work week. We, we just say, hey, look, all right, yeah, I'm not rich, but I'm giving out bush lights today. You know, hey, and jello well, shots. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's rum. It's rum. It's rum. It's rum. No, Got it. Actually, I'm not mad about giving you doorlies. I'm mad about it, the temperature. It's a little, it's a bit sitting out. So, you how about, do, do, a how beer? Beer? do a beer? So, you're doing beer? I'm doing beer. You're doing beer? Yes. Sir. Let's do beer. Do beer. Hold on, are we gonna make a mess? Because I'm not gonna touch it. You guys are gonna be the one tilting it. I mean, that's what it is. It really is that way. How many have you had? I'm gonna do two and three, so it'll be about three fourths of each, all right? Yeah, because I'm not gonna be touching it. They're gonna be tilting. Look at this. This is ingenious. I don't know why you're not a millionaire yet. He doesn't accept donations. That's a problem. I don't. I really don't know. I, I'm not good with measurements. So. <coughs> not good with. Here, it's already recorded. All right, cool. So fire away. Okay, you guys are in charge. Come on, Karen Head. I got money at you. Do it. Do it. You guys finish it. I'm done. Go back yeah, at it if you didn't finish it. Fin if you didn't finish oh, it. Man. Yeah, I'm good. Good job. Awesome. I think, Thanks, I think man. So uh, and do you have a website or anything that I could promote? No, I appreciate it, man. No, you I sure? Just, uh, Regular Joe, we're gonna. Not you live in five. Florida too? Oh uh, yeah, up in Jacksonville. Okay, I'm in Bushnell area, so. Where? Bushnell, just right up the street. Oh, okay. So yeah, well, you ain't got a website or nothing. I can't no, promote nothing I for you. I appreciate that. Though. All right, well. You do, you do a lot of blogging and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good stuff. Uh, right. Thanks, man. Oh, that was fun, guys. Look at that. That's what I need, because you you see the beer soaks into my shirt. Yes, yeah, exactly. When when you when you down them, that that there it just yeah, drip right down the middle. Right down the middle. Exactly. And you can put a cup right there. They got somebody down there doing shots. Right here. He does. Look at that flamingo. This dude is genius. That, but I had the middle one. I let everyone control it. All but right, so how's this one work here? You just walk up there. He fills it up with anything you want. And you just twist it and shoot it. Dude's amazing. He's a brilliant. Right there. Yeah. Look, I am wearing some of the beer. But I think I got most of it down my gullet. Oh, look at this. You can get your picture with Jimmy. Look at that. Look at that is better than the Epcot Center's photo walls right there. Look, it's that is better than a photo wall, than, than the selfies that you take. Yeah, I'm not the only one to do that. Look at Look at this Jenga. Another one. People out here love Jenga. So now that I have learned etiquette, I'm going to enjoy.
So, so, so what's the gimmick here? Of what? I don't know. The longest nail standing. Last man Those standing. Hard work there, so. oh. <laughs> it's a backwoods Louisiana game. I'm from Florida. I, I'm, you need, guys need to bring us. To, oh, we're in Florida. Oh, it is in Florida. There we go. We're learning something new. Backwoods case. That's like the world's biggest photo bomb. LJ! Definitely party atmosphere in the parking lot. And when you're done spilling beer all down your shirt and rum and tequila, this is where you end up. Right? This guy here is smart. He just sits here so he can drink as much as he wants, gets up, goes right there. Look at this. It looks like Jimmy has a stash, but not, that's not a mustache. That's a windshield wiper. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of the parking lot stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and end this daily vlog. I'm going to go ahead and continue shooting later on of the show. Put a couple of the songs in there. Try not to get copyright infringement too much on YouTube. And hopefully, since I don't have my regular microphones, it's going to come out okay. We're just going to have to see. So until the next one, everybody, I love you all. I, I do a peace album. My hands are full.